So I'm John Hanley. Um, I have a Bachelor of Science in Chemical Engineering with a focus in Environmental Engineering and a Master of Civil Engineering. And I'm currently a Project Development Analyst with Diode Ventures. I knew from a pretty early age that I really enjoyed math and science, but I didn't really know what to do with that for a long time. It wasn't really until my sister actually went into engineering through K-State that I started to think, okay, well there's a way that I can combine two things that I really enjoy. I flip-flopped among a lot of different specialties, and it wasn't until my senior year that I was really like, I'm enjoying my water resources classes and it felt like something where I could make a really positive impact. I had some difficulty between undergrad and grad school and when I expressed that to my research advisor during my master's, she knew some folks here at Black & Veatch in the area that I was interested in. Hearing about some of their work and some of the things that they got to do on a day-to-day -day basis, I was blown away. That was a really enlightening experience. I think Black & Veatch tends to come across at all of the career fairs as a really cool company without seeming to try to be cool. They encouraged me to apply to Black & Veatch, which uh, I think in the past was always something that wasn't the right um, area of work or it wasn't something that I thought that I could get into. Six months later, those same people that I got to learn from uh, were my coworkers and supervisors. Anyone I asked about the EDGE program or the people who were in it had really strong and positive opinions of the participants. My first rotation was as a water resources engineer in our planning and asset management group in water. It kind of hit this range of very technical, very engineering related processes and calculations to kind of the business behind the decisions that are made on a city level and the factors that go into those decisions and the engineering behind it. With a lot of careers and especially in engineering, you come onto the job knowing almost nothing. It's really surprising and kind of scary, but in general, you're new and you need to be okay with that. I think once you get out of that kind of fresh start period, you start to gain your footing and you start to know who are the right people to reach out to for certain questions, uh, what are the questions that you actually need to be asking, what are the things that you need to prioritize. There are a, a lot, a ton of opportunities for mentorship and guidance here at Black & Veatch. There's the EDGE Champion and the EDGE Mentor kind of built into each of your rotations. What could be a separate stage or what might be going on at the same time is planning for your next rotation. In general, a lot of that is guided by the EDGE professional. Um, you need to know, you know, a few fields of interest that you might want to go into next and make some effort or be asking for some help in making inroads to those fields. One of the things that stayed pretty constant is wanting to be involved with the people side of things. A lot of what I've learned uh, while being active in the Pride ERG is just kind of going for it. When something needs done and no one's really raising their hand, it goes a long way to just step up and say, I can do this. I don't know what I'm doing or who I need to talk to, but if I ask enough questions, I can figure all of that out and get it done. And I think my experiences in the EDGE program and through the Pride ERG and just being at Black & Beach in general are definitely gearing me toward the kind of position or the kind of career that I am after, ultimately. So something that I would tell myself or any other new grad is that it's okay to say no as long as you've thought it through and you know that that's the right decision to make. Some people may see that and they'll think, this kid doesn't know what he's doing. That's okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they'll burn out, I won't. 